Hi, I'm Jacqueline Stewart. Thanks for joining us as we shine a spotlight on Black independent filmmakers, our special theme for July. Our next movie is a drama from a prominent Black independent producer of the 1940s, William D. Alexander. From Alexander Productions in 1949, a TCM premiere, Souls of Sin. Alexander's film career started at All American News, a company producing Black-themed newsreels in Washington, D.C. In 1945, he moved to New York City, where he organized the Associated Film Producers of Negro Motion Pictures, Incorporated. His early productions included short musical films featuring the likes of Dizzy Gillespie and Billy Eckstein. And his first feature film was The Fight Never Ends from 1948, starring the boxer Joe Lewis and Ruby Dee. In the movie we're about to see, Souls of Sin, Jimmy Wright stars as Dollar Bill, a young man struggling to make ends meet, living in a Harlem basement apartment with two roommates. He soon finds trouble with the neighborhood criminal, Bad Boy George, and the criminal's femme fatale girlfriend, Regina. Bad Boy George is played by Powell Lindsay, who also wrote and directed the movie. There's also Savannah Churchill, Billy Allen, and William Greaves as the aspiring guitarist, Alabama Lee. Greaves, an accomplished dancer, songwriter, and actor who had worked with William Alexander on The Fight Never Ends, wrote the blues songs performed in Souls of Sin. He went on to become an extremely prolific independent filmmaker himself, one that film scholar Donald Bogle has called Dean of the Independents, thanks to Greaves' long run of remarkable documentaries and his avant-garde masterpiece, Symbiopsychotaxoplasm Take One, from 1968. In an interview with TCM, Greaves had high praise for the man who gave him his big break in Souls of Sin, producer William Alexander. He described Alexander as a unique kind of producer because of how he attacked the problem of stereotyping black people in movies. From 1949, here is producer William D. Alexander's Souls of Sin. Like all black producers of the 1940s, Souls of Sin producer William Alexander's films were made outside of the Hollywood studio system specifically for African-American audiences and featuring all black casts. These were known as race movies and Souls of Sin is considered by some to be the last race movie made by a black producer. As Thomas Cripps explained, World War II rendered race movies an anachronism. Despite the ever present existence of Jim Crow and other racist policies, black people were beginning to gain more rights and more prominence in American society, including Hollywood. Black people's cinematic expectations were also shifting based on a new, empowered self-image. During the war, the big studios began encroaching on what was once Black independence territory, with movies like Cabin in the Sky from MGM and Stormy Weather from 20th Century Fox, both released in 1943. And lower-budget race movies just couldn't compete. Alexander went on to make multiple documentaries in the 1950s and 60s, including the short Village of Hope, which won an award at the 1964 Cannes Film Festival. The last feature he produced was actually within the Hollywood system, the 1974 crime thriller, The Klansman, starring Richard Burton and Lee Marvin. Up next, Richard E. Norman represents the white contingent of independent producers who made race films in the silent era with a classic about a black pilot and a war veteran investigating a railroad theft. 